Welcome to Board Prep Cardiology Batch 7. Today I will share 20 questions with you. I recommend that you pause the video after each question and provide the answer. In doing so, you're evaluating how much you really know. I will talk about pericardial disease and pericardial effusion in this presentation. Question 121. What is the most common finding of acute pericarditis? Pain, specifically pleuritic chest pain, which is pain during breathing. Question 122. The patient's pain is worse while lying supine, but improves when sitting up and leaning forward. What is the diagnosis? Acute pericarditis. 123. What are the ECG changes in a person with acute pericarditis? Diffuse ST elevation and PR depression. 124. Which physical finding is very specific for acute pericarditis? Pericardial friction rub. 125. Even though acute pericarditis is self-limited, and should resolve in two to six weeks, what is the treatment of choice if medication is being used? NSAIDs. 126. What is the second line treatment for acute pericarditis? Colchicine. 127. What is the best way to auscultate friction rub in a person with acute pericarditis? It is heard best during exhalation with the person sitting up. 128. Which virus is commonly involved in acute pericarditis? Coxsackie virus. 129. Pericarditis may not always be due to an organism. It might be due to fibrous scarring of the pericardium, resulting in restrictive heart movement. What significant physical finding would be seen? jugular vein distension. 130. Define Kussmaul sign. It's distension of the neck vein during inspiration. 131. What is the best imaging modality to demonstrate pericardial effusion? Echocardiogram. 132. What is the next step in managing a per person with a new diagnosis of acute pericarditis. Echocardiogram to rule out pericardial effusion. 133. Pericardial effusion is noted in a 50-year-old female. When should pericardial synthesis be performed? It should be performed if there is evidence of cardiac tamponade. 134. Cardiac tamponade is defined as accumulation of fluid in the pericardial cavity. What aspect of this fluid is most important? The rate of accumulation is significantly important, not the amount. 135. What is the most common finding in cardiac tamponade? Jugular vein distension. 136. What is the classic presentation of cardiac tamponade? hypertension, muffled heart sound, and jugular vein distension. 137. What is pulse pressure? What is the pulse pressure in a person with cardiac tamponade? They will have narrow pulse pressure. 138. Define pulsus paradoxus. It is exaggerated decrease in systolic pressure greater than 10 millimeter of mercury during inspiration. On the normal condition during inspiration, there is a decrease in systolic pressure. With pulsus paradoxus, this increase is greater than 10 millimeter of mercury. 139. In what phase of respiration does the pulse become weak? Pulse gets strong during expiration and weak during inspiration. 140. What is the definitive treatment for cardiac tamponade? Surgery. 
Well, thanks for watching. Remember, knowledge is power, and power changes things. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.